This is a tutorial for uh, how to make an XP grinder out of cave spiders. As you can see, I've set up four of them here. This is most likely how you'd come across them in a vanilla world build. Most likely you're going to find more than one next to each other. I'm going to show you how to combine more than one together and how to efficiency efficiently grind them okay first let's start off and let's take this out take the bottom out gotta do this on all of them There's one done. Let's do another one here. I'll be back right after I do all of these and show what to do next. Okay, I dug them all out. Got one block underneath each one. Try and make sure you make these uh, these areas eight by nine if you can. It makes it so they can spawn a little bit better. Okay, the next step is applying the water. We have to put water underneath each one. Do it just like sh just like I'm doing it. Okay, we got the water in. I'll be right back once I once I get the other three finished, and I'll show you the next one. Okay, I got the water put down. The next step is pretty easy. All you do is you go like this. There's one block above the water. You do that on all, on all of them. 
What this does, this makes it so the cave spiders have to go one block. It makes us so uh, they can't fight the current. They're automatically pushed in the way you want them to go. Like that on all of them, and you'll be good. Uh, I almost forgot. Instead of doing one block, make sure you do a couple. Do them like this on the inside. You can use glass, you can use stone, you can use whatever you like best. Uh, I almost forgot. Instead of doing one block, make sure you do a couple. Do them like this on the inside. You can use glass, you can use stone, you can use whatever you like best. There's something else you're going to want to do. You want to make sure that this block up here, you fill it all in. Fill in a stone, whatever material you're using. Don't matter. I'm using glass so you can see them when, when the finished product is done. Just like so. You might also want to apply some kind of a stone up here. Make it a lot better when it's done. I'll be right back once I get uh, all of this done for, for the other three. Okay, I got it going. I got these two trenches going, as you can see. They're flowing in, they're coming out. Oh, there's that guy. Watch this spider, let's see what he does. So he goes in, see, he gets trapped. He, they can't jump anywhere. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to show you how to do these trenches. I'm going to start off with this one right here. Make sure you get your material, whatever you're using. Place it like so. Then put some glass up here. Exactly like this.
I know it must be really dark down here. Not much I can really do about that. Okay, it's now time to add the water to the trenches. Place the sign where you want the center point to be. For me, it's this. I want all the spiders to go towards this gold block. So I'm going to put it, put the sign right there. Okay, we got that. that would do okay, I got myself trapped here no big deal up it's all coming to plan I'm gonna do this one up here and I'll be right back okay I'm back I got all the trenches done let's watch how they work they fell in. These these ones are falling in. As I wanted them to. Must have glitched through. He's falling in. Yeah, as you can see, they're all working fine. Okay, next step requires making the pit. Why well, use it? I just dig a hole like this. I go about 10 down. I'll be right back and once the hole's finished. I'm back. I got the pit made. You can see it goes down pretty far. What this would do, the one hit kill doesn't really work on cave spiders, so you kind of have to improvise. I just make a pit so they can fall in and they're all in one area. From here, what I usually do is dig an area out. I like this will do. Yes, I put in creative mode just just for right now. Obviously, you won't be using this on creative mode. And make sure you just fill in all these holes. And then right right at the very bottom, what you do is you put some water. Just like so. And then from here, you uh, you once again 
make it one block high so they can't jump. And then once you got the eight blocks or it's exactly like this, or you can place signs, but I always find signs inconvenient with this. Dig a small pit like this. Down just like that. I'll be right back right after I make a small room for you to stand in. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I still got this. I made a small little room. Okay, from here, what I use it, I get some iron bars and place on like that. Make sure, whatever you do, don't have a block like right there. Knock them out. And then from here, what you could do is, this is what I usually do. I make a small staircase. Okay, we're off just a little bit. Fix that up. There's a block there like that. Or we could just redo it like that. That's usually what I do. And then I uh, get a door. I don't know what could a door be. Put a door right here. Oh, you don't want to do it like that. You don't want to put it like that. That's the way I did mine on the G2PL server. I can show you another way you could do it. You can get some uh, sticky pistons. Didn't find them. up this hole for just a bit stop the water then what you do is you place place these like that Be right back right after I do this right figure out this redstone real quick. Okay, I'm I'm back. I figured out how I was gonna do the redstone. I hook where well, that can go. I hooked up a switch, put a redstone like that, put the repeaters, put put them like that, put the pistons above. 
And when you hit it, now you can uh, hide this up a little and make it look a little bit better. No one will ever know that you have redstone there. Move it back a little. Fill that gap up there then. And the only thing there is to do now is figure a way to get back to the surface. So let's just dig straight up. Okay, that didn't work. Not what I wanted to do in the least. Get some glass. Okay. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I decided to, to put the hole right there. Get rid of some of this stuff. Give me some ladders. Probably gonna need some stone too. Okay, we got the ladder, we got a way to get out of there now. Now it's time to finish the pit. The way you do this is just line them up. They should all line up pretty much together. Other than this one, I'll show you how to fix this. Uh, let's see. Okay, get some glass.
I see what's going on here. There we go, it's all fixed. I got all the pits aligned like I wanted them to other than this I need to fix this one real quick and I might have to fix that one over there too fix this one too just make sure you have it one block high throughout the entire thing and you won't have problems Okay, I got all this. Now it's time to finish it. The way I do this is I raise this up a little, like so. As I said before, you can pretty much use any material like stone, whatever. Oh, I add it. Why not place some glowstone down there? You can see what's going on. You don't necessarily have to put glow, you can put torches. Or you don't have to put anything at all. Looks like we're good. Let's test it out. That worked good. So that it fall down and then it go to that pit. I'll be right back once the, the tank is full. I'm back. I've let them build up a little bit, as you can see. There's quite a few down there. 
to go downstairs and start killing them. I said, all you do, you just wait up there. As you can see, there's a lot of them. Just about got them all here. And yes, you will need a sword for this. This is not no one hits XP grinder, this the cave spider. You can't really have him drop. Okay, I think we got them all killed. If you use this piston method, once you, as you can see how it is, all the ores and all the items up there. If you use the piston method, just hit the switch. Go drop down. Okay, we got all the orbs. And then when you're done, hit the switch. Before you start waiting up top, make sure you have that switch turned. Because not when you come down, come down the ladder, you will be screwed. I'm just <laughs> letting you know now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Cave Spider X XP farm tutorial. And... If you need to ask any questions, just let me know. I'll answer them. See you guys. I'm out.